So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello, this is Clint Louie. I'm coming to you today with five minutes from friendship, and I thank you for tuning in with us today. We've been walking through the book of 1 Peter in our church services and having a wonderful time in it. And I encourage you to be a part of that, whether in person or watching online. But I want to share with you a little thought from 1 Peter. We come to 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse number 13 and 14. And the Bible says in 1 Peter 1, 13, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And then verse 14 says, As obedient children not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. The Bible tells us and reminds us in 1 Peter that we, as saved people, are the children of God. Saved people are the children of God. Isn't it a wonderful thing to not only be a child of God, but to be God's child? To be the children of God. And then the Bible says that we are not only children, but we are to be obedient children. God would have you and me to be obedient unto him. It's not about our service. It's about our obedience unto God. And I want to remind you, please, that obedience is not just doing the will of God. Oh, no, no, no. It's not just doing things. It is delighting to do the will of God. See, I can do right things with a wrong attitude and it still not be right. But obedience to God is always about delighting in the will of God. It's a heart condition. It's a heart matter. And the Bible says he wants us to be obedient children before him. Are you an obedient child today? There are four great principles God gives to us in 1 Peter about being an obedient child. Four Qualities God says I want in my children. And so let me share them with you if I may please. The first one is found in 1 Peter 1 and verse 16 where he says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. An obedient child is a holy child. Holy child. That word holy means to be set apart. It means that you belong to him. It's like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden before sin entered into the world and they walked with God and enjoyed him and the Lord coming and walking with them in the garden in the cool of the day and they had nothing to hide. They enjoyed his creation. They enjoyed the beauty and, and then they enjoyed walking with God. They just breathed heavenly air. That's holiness set apart unto God. And I want to tell you that through faith in Christ, you can breathe holy air today, heavenly air today. So be a holy child set apart unto God. You don't belong to the devil. You belong to the Lord. Live a holy life. And then he tells us the second quality is to fear God. He says in verse 17, Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Fear God, he said. Fear God. And I want to share with you today that obedient children are to be fearful of God. We ought to have a fear of God in our hearts. We don't fear man. We don't fear the circumstances of life. But we fear God. There's a sense in us of we're going to stand before God. We're going to give an account unto God. And so what I do today, I'm going to do recognizing that I shall stand before God someday. So obedient children fear God as well as live holy lives. And then obedient children, the Bible says they love one another in verse 22. They love one another. And I want to say to you today, there's people who need your love. There are brothers and sisters in Christ who need your encouraging words. They need you to pray for them. They need you to talk to them. They need you to share with them your heart. They need you to show that you care for them. People who need our love. And then finally, the Bible tells us obedient children in chapter 2, verse 2, they grow. And the only way we grow is by the word of God. A child, it is natural for a child to grow. If he did not grow, you take him to a doctor and find out what was wrong. But God wants us to grow. And the only way we grow is by the diet of the Word of God. This is Clint Louie. You have a great day.